Okay, last night I did an update and what time I was doing it. I was showing January. I was supposed to went on over after I showed January to what we was looking at before when I was showing you all. And that was 2023 we was looking at that. And then show you April 2024. Slipped my mind. Had a lot on my mind trying to keep up with what I was doing. Okay, now here's what we got now. April 2024. This is the first day. Then we go to the second. You can look at these anomalies. They're scattered out because the storm's coming across the plate. We'll go to the second. Down into Florida. And you can see it right here. It's still over toward Louisiana. Now, notice how much it appears in this area up toward the major, new major seismic zone over here. Now you can look at it as we go and notice how it's going slower than it was in January 2023 when we was looking at it before. See, it's still there. This is Louisiana. Still going up through there, and the only reason you can't see this is because of the storms. Okay, you can see it coming up through here. I know it's a little bit dark on my screen, maybe, but I need it this way to really point this out and show you. Okay, that's the fifth. Sixth, it's still, it's going over, but it's just on the other side of Louisiana. It's taking too long to move, so, and you can see it over here. That means that it's slowed down. The flow has slowed down coming across the North America. So the, the slower it goes, the hotter it's going to get in these areas under the surface and dry the ground out. Next thing you know, there's no water in that area. Here's the eighth. Look how thick it's getting. Now we're coming right back behind Louisiana down into Texas. The ninth, we got a lot of storms going on. Can't see most of it. If it's cloudy, it won't show you, but you can see how thick this is up here. And we just got a little scattered through here, but you can see that it is in Louisiana. Up this way, over through Nevada and places. Let's go over here to the 12th. The 12th is thickening them back up. The storms is moving out. It's still over in here. That's when we, we got flooded. You know, got the flood on. And the 13th. Look how thick it's getting. This is what you're seeing when it's not cloudy. And what we're going to do is we're going to go up here. This is April 2024. And let's go all the way back to January 2023. And I'm going to show you all of these from, well, not 2023. Get all mixed up here. Get ahead of myself. January 2024. I'm going to show you all these here, January, February, March, and April, up until today. That way, this will be going through in images, so you can watch it as it goes. Okay, January 2024, and I'll let you watch this.
Okay, this was from January the 1st, 2024, to April the 13th. This is the 13th. It, it don't show the 14th yet. But this is what we got, and you can watch it move across the plate. There's no way of denying that. There's, you know, maybe put yourself in a safe place in your mind and deny it, but it's still going to happen. This is getting slower, and it's taking a long time to move across the plate. So that means it's drying it out. And from my update last night that I showed you, how it's the east is starting to dry out just like the west. Pretty soon, this white and all that you see will be over here in the east. If this keeps it up, which, you know, it's going to. All right, I'll see you all next time if I, you know, need to let you know something and make sure you write to Congress, get the tsunami stations on, on the east coast, west coast. That is very important. I don't know why that North America is the only one that's not really protected. I don't understand that. But I'll see you next time.